Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop for sadly what may be the last time. The summer has unfortunately come to an end. Um, I've got some A-level results now and as you can probably see I've had to have a bit of a smarten up, have a shave, because in a few days I'm going to be going to university. I'm going to be doing a history degree at the University of York, which is very exciting and also terrifying. Um, but it means unfortunately I'm going to have to be spending a lot of time away from home and a lot of time out of the shed and I'm probably not going to be able to do anything like as much uh, of my hobby, my fun work and the YouTube as I would like to do. Now before I go I've decided that I'm going to take all of my tools in here out and put them into storage for several reasons. First of all, while I'm away in term time, some 12 weeks at a time, I don't want to hog all of the space in here from grandma. Obviously this is her shed and at the minute she just has a little um, set of shelves over here which she uses to pot up plants. The rest of it, the other workbench, is all what I use. So I want to enable her to be able to use the whole shed again, if she so wishes. Also, no offence to her, but in my absence I don't want any of my precious tools to get lost, misused, wet from the leaky roof, broken or damaged or anything. I want everything safe and where I know it will be um, not touched until I get back and can resume using it. I also have to consider though that for the three years that I'm away at uni, life could happen. I don't want to wish the worst, but grandma is very old and I, who knows what might happen what in the three years while I'm away. Um, and God forbid something did happen, I may lose the ability to be in here at all. You know, it might be that my parents have to get rid of this house while I'm away, and in which case they'd have to deal with all the stuff in here. So if I've got it all put out of the way, it's done should anything happen. Not to mention, say nothing did happen and I just got back after the three years, I might well say, you know what, I don't really fancy doing YouTube anymore, I might want to go and get a proper job, um, and then I wouldn't need this space, and I might just use my tools elsewhere. And finally, and hopefully most likely, um, I might well get back from uni in three years and say, mm, I really want to continue this YouTube thing, it was really fun, um, but I think I need a bit more space, I might need to get a new workshop, um, somewhere bigger perhaps, with uh, even more space for more tools. Um, in which case I would then not even want to come back here, so all of my tools then, if I take them out today, will be in one place, so I can just pick them up and move them into, an, into the new home of the Chris Jacobs YouTube channel. So it's all very up in the air at the minute, everything's all ifs and buts and who knows what might happen in the future, but at the end of the day it all boils down to I am going to move out today. So for now we've got a lot of tools to take down, a lot of stuff to pack away, box up um, and get it put somewhere safe. So although this may be the last video you ever see from this shed, which is rather sad, um, I do have to say thank you very much for joining me. Um, let's get on and get going um, and try and keep positive and think uh, good things about the future. Um, it's all very exciting and new things happening, lots of change. Um, so yes, let's get on. Like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. Cool. God, that took ages.
and that is just about everything. You may be able to hear it's a bit more echoey in here now, but everything is gone. All of my tools from the cupboards, apart from some paint. It's all bare. Bits and bobs that grandma will use in the garden, but nothing of mine. Apologies, once again, the time lapses were a bit samey, but other than a few major bits like taking the vice off, it was just emptying the cupboards, ferrying it all across into storage, so not too much to show you. And that pretty much does wrap up this video, although I do have one more thing to tell you. I said that I'm leaving this shed, and that is true, but unfortunately there is someone else who's also leaving us as well, very soon. Come on, good boy. Lie down. Come on, lie down. I know. Good dog, good dog. Unfortunately, there's no easy way for me to say this other than we're gonna have Bailey put down. He's booked in for the Friday the 15th, um, which is just day, the day before I go to uni. Um, and we're doing it just because he is, he's obviously struggling, a um, couple of reasons. It's evident when he's moving around, as you saw there, it's, he's in a lot of pain when he's trying to get up, get down, run around or not run, try and walk even. Um, and he's been having problems with his bowels over the last few months, even years, um, some incontinence, um, issues eating, that kind of thing. And so it's, it's come to the point where we think it's probably just kinder to put him to sleep. Um... Well, I'm up north. <laughs> um, I've had some spare time, which is why I'm editing the video here. And I forgot to say at this point when filming it back home, um, that at this point we'd also taken him to a vet um, and they'd agreed that the problems were due to his age and that they couldn't be permanently fixed. All we could do was really delay the end by relieving his pain. Not to mention also that at this point grandma was also beginning to struggle to care for him properly, um, struggle to clean up after him when he had accidents indoors and because my family just simply didn't have the time to do that, that was why we decided as well why it was the best thing to do, um, despite how perky and bright-eyed he would seem outwardly. Um, so yeah, uh, wish me luck here. <laughs> Back to the video. Um, so that is gonna happen on the 15th. So sadly, as well as me leaving here and probably making a lot less videos for a little while, we're also gonna be losing our channel mascot. Um, so do leave your well wishes for him in the comments um, and yeah wish him the best of luck but no doubt you'll go to a better place won't you mate eh? It's time to go isn't it really eh? So it does I'm sure seem very doom and gloom what with me leaving and this boy not being here for much longer either um, but like I said we'll try and stay positive because I am going to uni, that's very exciting um, and who knows you may get some different content coming uh, from that. If not, then like I say, I probably won't have time to make many videos as I'm studying a degree. So I would very much appreciate it if you would stay subscribed, of course, until maybe I get back. Um, if not, I can understand you maybe not wanting to stick around, but like I say, it's three years. It's me moving out of home, basically, much as my mum refuses to believe that. Um, so anything could happen. So I would love it if you could stick around. At the minute, my mindset is to continue making videos at some point, but who knows what will happen, so sorry. <laughs> That's just how it is. Thank you also to Max, who's been doing a bit of editing for me recently. I'm sure you'll leave him a kind comment as well down below. And so thank you for helping me out. That's been much appreciated. For now though, I'll say that if you've enjoyed the video, do please consider leaving me a like maybe and subscribing. And we will see you at some point, hopefully. And as I think I've said everything now, um, I think we'll finish with a little montage of this boy's uh, best moment, shall we, to roll us out to fade to black, eh?
so yes thank you for your viewership and support in this chapter if you will um it's been a blast i've certainly had a great time um i'm sure i'll see you at some point goodbye